takes on the evergreen Wang Tzu Wei in the men's singles match that will close proceedings here on day three on court two. Well, Rick Axelson has had a phenomenal year. He will be looking to book his place in a quarterfinal for the eighth time this year. That's how consistent Axelson has been. Of course, waiting for him in the quarterfinals is a friend and a foe in Lokin Yu. And the other side of the quarterfinals sees an all Indonesian affair between Rushtavido and Christy. So it's getting tense as we enter the business end of things here at the Victor China Open 2023. So this will be a sixth meeting between Axelson and Wang Su Wei as we await the officials and the players to take to the courts. And unfortunately for Wang Tzu Wei, Kirsty, it's all gone Axelson's way in the previous five. Oh. He's only managed to take one game off him in five meetings. And you have to go all the way back to 2017 and the India Open when Wang Tzu Wei was able to push the match to three games. Eventually Axelson won that, but was able to take a game of Victor. Since then, of course, Victor has grown to be this amazing contender. Wang Su Wei is still a very good player, can cause trouble, hasn't been able to do so with yeah, Victor. Yeah, Wang Su Wei in his own right is a great player and uh, unfortunately Victor is almost one of the greatest. So it's uh, yeah, a tough ask, but I always say it only takes one time. Anyone can beat anyone one time. Oh. Victor is going to be a favourite in this hall, you can hear it. He is a popular figure and, you know, has certainly even garnered more fans by being able to speak the language. He communicates with his uh, Chinese fans in their native tongue, which is, I'm sure, amazing for the fans here to have. Yeah, massive respect for that. Just the amount of effort that Victor's put in to show that respect to the fans is incredible. Makes him a fan favorite, makes him a favorite on paper. But Wang Su Wei will enjoy the underdog status, I'm sure, because he's really no, got nothing to lose. Nothing to lose, yeah. yeah. We look back at that history. The last time they met was the Indonesia Open this year in the second round, and Axelson won that 21-8, 21-13. Before that, they also met in 2022 at the Indonesia Please Open, rest. Indonesia that Masters side, in the second round, and Axelson won that 21-10, 21-13. So it's been straight game wins, as I mentioned, for the last four matches that they've played. It was the first ever encounter between these two in 2017 that went to three. Axelson winning 19-21, 21-14, 21-16. So a long rivalry of sorts between these two. And Wang Su Wei still hoping to break new ground here. 29 years of age now, Victor Axelsson from Odense, Denmark, the home of the Danish Open, of course, Denmark Open. Uh, highest ranking is world number one, of course. He's enjoyed this on and off since September of 2017. Has a win-loss record this year of 37 to 5. Lost only five matches, all of 2023. In the second round, it's even more impressive. It's 5 to 1. His only loss coming all the way back at All England at the hands of Ang Zee Young in the second round. He beat Chico Oradriwardoyo in straight games, 17-18 in 46 minutes. This man, obviously, in the form of his life, despite the World Championships outcome, he's still the man to everyone wants to beat. Absolutely. Those are some nice stats. You'd, you'd pay a lot of money to have those stats. <laughs> <I know. laughs> exactly. It all works in his favor. <laughs> Wang Su Wei, 28 years of age, Taipei born and raised ranked 26 in the world at the moment, has gone up as high as number nine. We've got to go back to February of 2021 for that ranking. Has a win-loss record of 10 to 16 in 2023, so unfortunately more losses than wins that he would like. In the second round, it's two and to four. So two wins to four losses. Beat Kenta Nishimoto in the first round, always a tough opponent, 23-21, 22-20, so it went all the way to very tight games. But the fact that Wang Tzu Wei came out on tops tells you about how confident he's feeling about his game. Yeah, I think to limit that, uh, the damage of the first match right, right. to uh, one hour, 
if that had gone to another set, we were looking at 90 minutes. And, and then to take a lot of energy yeah. in the first round. <laughs> and then to recover from that to play someone like Axelson. Just, just to play for Axelson <laughs> in the next round, you know. <laughs> you're going to need all the energy that you can get. So, um, yeah, he'll have been happy to seal that off in two for sure. Yep, but Van Horenby from and Belgium no is the right? umpire for this no match and he's joined in the service judges chair by Guo Wei Liang. Those are your officials for this second round encounter in the men's singles between Victor Axelsson and Wang Su Wei. The two wins in the second round for Wang Su Wei incidentally came recently at Chinese Taipei Open and at World Championships. So if there's anything to give him hope, it's that. Sure. Well, Axelsson, interestingly, on the driftier end. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Wang Su Wei. Chinese yeah, it'll be interesting to see here if he just On tries left, to get Victor his Axelson, bearings Denmark. and still use that back line, or let's Victor just Axelson to serve shut down that net and, and dominate there and just not even consider Link. the back line. Or a mixture of both. Let's see. There. Yeah. He said strong in the front One corner there. Enough. Axelsson. I think if he's in a good position, and I think if he's, in, if he's in balance, he's got the control, he's got the skills, the clarity to place it on that back line. If he's out of position, I think he's going to want to go mid-court or hold the net. Yeah, that's perfectly on the back line. Plum, as Jill Clark would say. True <laughs> love. Yeah, she's on the other court, of course, he's on court one, commentating on the Chen Chun Chun and Jai Fan match. Oh. Oh, he's got a very good understanding, I think. Of the conditions, Victor Axelson. All with a broken string. <laughs> yes, new shot. Yes, one. Okay. Straight away, gets cuts up those strings. Three low. Changes his rackets. And that's a question. Why do they cut strings? Why do you cut strings straight away? Um, it will kind of warp the shape of the, the racket. If you break a string in a place, then all the tension is being held in another area of the racket. So you just want to get it all spread out as quickly as possible or you'll end up kind of misshaping the head. So, I mean, I don't think it needs to be done quite as urgently as the players do do it, but it's kind of more just a habit. You break a string, you cut the strings. <laughs> That time, just long. Yeah, he knows that he gives a little Serves shadow. Over. Just One, put a little bit too three. much punch on it. The finalist at the China Open, Victor Axelson, in 2017. Got to the finals here, this tournament. That time it wasn't in Changzhou. That's a good recovery from. Straight back on balance. And just missing that back line again. It is a tricky one to find. Two, three. Lost to Chan Long in that 2017 final. No shame in that. Absolutely not. <laughs> I think he exacted revenge in Tokyo, didn't yeah. he? <laughs> He'd have rather won that one anyways. I think so. <laughs> three, oh. But Wang Su Wei, from a... From a strategic point of view needs to make the most of this advantage that he has on the end he is try and get that game off Axelson and see where he can go from there definitely I think it's also to note that with the faster end okay it's more difficult to find that back line on your lifts and everything but you've also make it also makes your attack harder I think it's a matter of time before we see Axelson smashing it down yeah, absolutely. A man's ah, got some angles. Beautiful. Angle. Beautifully placed. I think Wang Chi is right to kind of sneak up on that net. 
Victor's made a couple of errors uh, on the back line, so he's gonna take more chances at the net. And Wang Tsui just reading that one very well. He takes the lead, Wang Tsui, early on in this first game. Called out. Serves her front. Four O. Oh. Fourth China Open main draw appearance for Wang. It's two first round exits, and in 2019 reached the second round for his best finish at this tournament. So win here would put him five four in his best finish ever. If he could repeat, not repeat, but get the win here. Oh, Ooh, completely missed that. Six, Access four. Didn't overhit that. Nearly retrieved though, but well, that was a good angle Serve from Victor. You can see that one Five, was so much safer six. than the previous one that he uh, sent out. Just bringing his margins in, but keeping the same full power on the shots. Distance pays off for Wang. Serve, serve for seven, five. He's definitely got to play the patient game here. Yeah, you do wonder what um, anyone's tactics going into a match against Victor would be. But I think in this hall, just with these little awkward bits of drift, it might just be the patient rally game. To really try and drag him out of position. Keep him quite contained. Oh, well, well retrieved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice shot. Oh, this is an yeah. excellent rally. And it's Victor Axelson who triumphs, but he was put through his paces there. Six, seven. It was just that little bit too much commitment from Wang there. Put yeah. himself out of position. Well, it was a good, it was a good choice, I think. But if Victor gets a racket to it, you're in a little bit of trouble. Thirty-two shots that one, longest of the match so far. One. You have to be quicker. No, 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 no. No, I think so. You have to get ready. Asking him to get ready faster. I would say it's it's quite warm in here, and uh, there will be quite a lot of sweat on the courts. That was Victor. cheeky from Victor. I don't think the camera Victor. really picked it up, but he went for a very quick here. flick, sir. How long do we have? From here. I will this side. Okay? Play. Get Having ready now. Spending a little bit too much time deciding on how long they have between the end of a point and serving. It's kind of funny that we don't have it standardized like tennis. Uh, do they have, what do they have, four? They have a seconds? clock now. 20 seconds? 40 Third, seconds? I think it's... Seven. Third, it's oh. a 40 second countdown from yeah. once when you, from the end of the point. Yeah. To seven. Which, uh, but the shot clock from when you start bouncing, I think it's 20. That's why you think you're okay. okay. Yeah, there's some long serve routines in tennis, isn't there? Eight, seven. 
But to be fair to badminton, I mean, it's not often that there are people who are unhappy about the opponent not being ready in time. You don't get a lot of that kind of complaints. Yeah. I think both players are pretty happy for the rest most of the time, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite necessary. I'm all for kind of continuous play, but it's a tough sport. Net was well held there by Wang Sui, forcing Victor to lift. But he's given that one away loose. Yeah, it was a perfect height for Axelson to put away. Place that one down, plays for the next one, finishes it off at the net. I don't think there's going to be many finishing shots from the rear court in this hall. It's going to be all about who's controlling that net. Yeah. That's really well played. Seven. Again, just solid down the line smash. And Axelson is now three points up. More importantly, he's put on, put on a run of five points in a row. Gained some momentum on his end. Good, good little, 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 yeah, little, little, little aggressive return. Eight, Change ten. up that pace rather than just putting in the simple net. Caught Victor a little bit by surprise. And which you have to do, I guess. Which I mean, you have to sort of keep him guessing. I mean, anticipating or reading the opponent's game is as much as a challenge. Yeah. Oi! He's caught the line. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, he's ten. the corner. There is a chance to uh, use this review system on court two. But, yeah, I think Victor's, yeah, as well. In. He's done well to break that run of victors here, Wang Tsui. Make sure that it remains a close game. so funny like Victor will have trained that shot so much and that's just what naturally comes off his racket but in this hall it's just a little bit too much but like you say that's what is what is best about the best players in the world is that they can change it up well it's nice to know that Victor oh he goes a little net card there it's nice to know that Victor doesn't get it right every time as well. <laughs> yes, he's human after all, but he has the lead here, Victor Axelson. 11-10 up at the break. He maintains that lead just about against Wang Tuwei in the second round. Back on court, ready to resume the first game. Long to wait. Doing well to keep pace with Victor Play. in that first half. And uh, finds himself just trailing by one point as a result. Good little change levels, of pace. Levels of score. Serves over. 11 all. That's a, a really nice element of, of singles, I think, is the, the mixture between those long, grueling 
rallies where maybe the pace is down a little bit, but it's just a war of attrition versus serve receive on the floor. Yeah. Like those changes. Just long. Serve is over. Yeah, because I mean, 11. normally when you when you see Victor Axelson in action, the rallies are nowhere near the length that we're seeing now. They tend to be quite short. He, he likes to just take that aggressive stance. He sees an opportunity and yeah. he takes it. Exactly. And here, because the conditions are such, it's not really allowing him Victor to do that. Victor Axelson Absolutely. challenges Cole. We've got our first out. challenge here on court two. It was a tight one. It's close to the line, that one. <laughs> Shake of the head from Victor Axelson. Ah, if it's close, it's worth worth a try. Yeah. God loves a trier. But I tell you what, the line judges have got it spot on. So pretty much throughout one the last couple of days. Love to see it. Service over 12 oh. And it's been the players who've been on the losing end Play. with a lot of these challenges <laughs> as a result. But... Like you say, you've got to try it. No, it's all, it's really like, gives you a lot of confidence to know that we have the IRS system, but it's really nice as a player when you trust your line judges, both sides, both ends, all courts. Like it just makes it, everything feel very professional and like the correct outcome will be, do you know? It's, it's, it's sort of equal, it's just, yeah. the system is, you know, not against you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is what a rally. We were kind of talking during it. We should have been talking about the rally. That was 13, the net play there was 12. great. Wang Zuwei, Wang Zuwei tipped it over, but Victor managed to get it back. And then clinical down that backhand side of Victor. That super rally, super point for Wang Zuwei. Oh, it's yeah. lovely. It curved in, found 14, the corner. 12. And Wang Suwei has the lead. Two points up. Ho! Tight net exchange. Hey, oh, yeah. oh, he saved it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just making oohs and ahs at this commentary. That was no Victor Rally. 13, 14. Make sure that the point is his, despite Wang Tsui's best efforts. But you can see Wang Zui always turning his feet so he's right foot forward, covering that net. He's if he's defending, he's putting it in and then he's looking for the net because he knows if Victor punches out it's likely to be punches over, it's likely to go out. So he comes forward a little bit more yeah. just to try and get him to push over. No 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 no. You have to be quicker. This is my final warning. And we're way too long. Considering Umpire. we just had the court wiped, I didn't feel like he was taking that much longer. That much longer, but who are we to judge? Uh, we covered that one. I think it's also it sort of is beneficial to the server. So like if the server is ready because he has to serve he can call that, that I'm ready to serve, you better be ready to receive kind of thing. So yeah. it kind of is advantageous if you're the server, yeah, the, to a certain extent. The rhythm was with the server, I think, is our, is our only rule, really, with, with uh, how much time you get yeah. between points, which is a little bit Ooh. subjective and arbitrary. Finds the line. 15, 14. Gets the outside line there, Nick Axelson. Saw that little cheeky push from Wang Tsui coming, had his racket ready for it. 
Again, not a bad decision from Wang Sui, I don't think. It's just whether he can place them correctly and well enough. Yeah, again. Yeah, Victor knows it. You can see the frustration. <laughs> he doesn't often make the same mistake yep. a few times, but it's tricky in here. With the conditions. Yeah. But if you're wondering what all the noise is, it's, we've got two courts featuring local players and two very well-known local players in Shi Yuqi on court up. one and Liu Yuqin and Oh Xuan Yi on court 15. three. And so the noise is all for them. Oh, nice. Well taken. Yep. Pouched on that. Over. Very quick. Six, Gets six, behind four. Axelson as well. Yeah. He kind of almost guessed that Axelson was going to go and the other way. Axelson's caught a few on his forehand. Um, so he's decided to try and keep it straight, open up his racket, push it down the line. Smart move. Oof. That's some angle. Serves over. Oh, classic Victor Axelson. 17, 16. Sure, the fans would like to see a few more of those from the Axelson racket, but credit to Wang Shui, he's been he's managed to keep Axelson a little bit quiet so far in this first game. See that fight for the net? Yeah, that was a really high lift. Axelson had no trouble. 16. Putting that away and at a very crucial stage in this first game, Victor Axelson finds himself no, two points up. Court. That's a leap Clean up. there, that's some leap. I, uh, I think it's interesting that it seems to be whoever lifts first loses, but for different reasons. If Victor lifts, it's because it's out of the back, and if Wang Zhui lifts, it's because Victor's going to put it on the floor. Yep. His that may have been going out of the back, but made sure and he's kept it alive good rally oh and out oh he's challenged it challenges. i always say the back Pull line is the hardest up. one to see like that, to judge as a player and that honestly looked like it was going out it looked like it landed out and i tell you what i kind of trust the line judge's decision in this tournament yeah they have been Yep. Very accurate. On point. Challenge unsuccessful. Victor has some very no confident challenge that as well. And like I say, it's, he will have practiced that Service so many over. times that when it leaves his racket, 17, he thinks, yeah, that's 18. the correct weight to hit this shot with. But not in this hole. Late. Something happens between his racket and that back line that is not uh, yep. usual, shall we say. Unusual forces at play. Mm. Victor Axelson still holds on to that lead, three points away from clinching this first game. But as we've seen in this first game, the lead has exchanged hands. It can still go Wang Suwei's way. I wouldn't say either player seems extremely comfortable in here. And we're back level. Victor is not infallible in this hall. No player, I, don't, I think, is infallible in this hall. Eighteen all, three. Still away from a win. Both these men now. Victor crept up to a really close, uh, close uh, receiving position for that serve there. Well, he wanted that Serves over. sort of Wang looser 19, lift at the net. Yeah, went to put in a cheeky kind of drive, kind of firmer serve. But Victor shut down that net really well. that line. <laughs> Second time. Same In a matter over. of points, Wang Chui finds that spot, the sweet all. spot on the court. But it almost feels like the shuttle is turning inwards. Yeah, like 
there might be a tiny side drift in here, and by tiny I mean a couple of centimetres, so... But it makes all the difference. Yeah. Good One, return. two, eight challenges called in. Finds the corner of his own, Victor Axelson, and it's small margins here. We're, we're going to back the line judges again, I'm going to say in. We're, we're line judge stands. <laughs> <laughs> we're taking... We trust our line judges. judges. Side. Yeah. Challenge unsuccessful. Easy, easy. One challenge remaining. Well, Serves that over. brings up a game point game opportunity point for Victor Axelson. And he'll be hoping that is one is all he needs. And this one is it. Play. We took that one at the rear court because I feel like that's a classic one that would be going out in, the, in this game. That one. Yeah. But and I'm surprised that he's found a direct winner down that line. It's level scores, 20 all. Game point has come and gone for Victor Axelson. Not often I get to say that. No. Switching up that serve again, putting in a little little drive. That is nice. What a point. <laughs> that is beautiful stuff from Wang Suwei. Closing down that midcourt and forwards. Victor. Really putting Victor. pressure on Victor, saying, I dare you I to lift. You to that that is what that okay. is saying. That's clever, clever stuff from the Chinese Taipei Shuttler, who now finds himself on game point. work by Wang Shui to come back from game point down to turn it around in a very tightly contested first game. First he takes game, it 22-20 injection of pace 20, right at 20. the end there. 20. Three in a row. And it's Wang Shui who has the first game. Who would have thought? First time since 2017. Amazing stuff. 26 minutes played. We're in for a thriller. Ind og spille på samme måde, ind og have forbane med her. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. So Victor Axelson finds himself a game down in the second round match against Chinese Taipei's Wang Tzu Wei. It was very, very close. Axelson had game point at 2019. That was saved by Wang. He played three impeccable points to then ensure that he took the first game. So Axelson in a must win second in the second game. game. The good thing is Play. he's on the favorable end. Yeah, I think he'll be able to gain a bit more control. His classic Victor control at this end already. There's two, three rear court shots that he would not have been able to play on the other side. And here's Wang Suwei already Serve struggling. Zerva. 
with that one shift of ends. Yes. So I'm wondering what the respective game plans are going to be in this in this new set. Again, I think the net is going to be important for both sides, but for different reasons. Victor's attack's not going to be as dominant. And that's come in. That is curved in. Yep. That's that's exactly. And I think having watched Wang Sui make a couple of winners yep. on that end, Axelson is going to try and exploit that. Definitely. He would have felt the effect of it in the first set. He would have noted it. Bookmarked it for later, as it were. Yep. You can see Victor can bump Wang Sui around the oh. court here a bit better than he could on the, Three, in the first set. No. Mm. Okay. We know that Wang Sui has the game to see this second sort of game through in the sense that he has a variety in his I, style Victor of play. challenges, calls out. And he is a rallier of sorts, Wang Zui. He does yeah. enjoy the rallies. See Victor Axelson challenge. It was called out. He's challenged it. He seemed very confident about it. But like I say, that back line, tricky to judge as a player. Oh, oh. he's got it. Maya Whisker. The first, the first successful. Correct. I haven't seen I that today. Oh, love. First time today that a player has got a successful challenge on my watch. Yay. So well done to Victor Link. Axelson. That one's gone long. Victor oh. Axelson challenge well try again. Pulled out. <laughs> oh, I, I feel like the line judge is in a bit of trouble if she gets this one wrong again. From where we're sitting, From I think that might have been long. Yeah. But again, Axel seems like super confident. Puts his hand up straight away. And he's got it again. And so Correct. now. Correction in. Oh, this. Oh, line judge is having a. Twice in a row. A tricky lost. minute. Late. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of those stairs from Axelson. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what. Must be a Wang Tsui fan. <laughs> oh! six, so six very no. quick points by Victor Axelson, who's, I think, woken up yes. for sure. It's finding himself oh! a game down, he's on a single minded. I'm trying to make sure the level, the score is level again. Challenge? Yeah, go for Victor it. Victor Axelson challenges pulled out. Oh, it's becoming a comedy of errors. This. I've uh, I've never seen three in a row. Does the line judge know that if it touches the line that it's in? Oh, she gets one. Challenge unsuccessful. She Thank you. Salvages the Challenge situation. Yeah. Serves <laughs> over. Ooh. One. Six. And it is a point for Wang Shui, finally. Play. More importantly, we're on the board. On the scoreboard. Oh. Two, six. Oh, I think he's going to be trying more of these net exchanges for sure, Wang Shui. And try and put some pressure on Axelson again in the second game because Axelson has made the flying start. Yeah. Game's over. 7 2. Late. Yeah, we got a 
Oh, we finished that's, off. That's straight Mark Axelson, but that's what he is so good at doing. Yeah. Eight, two. It's that correct weight down. You've got no choice but to pop it up at the net. And he's kind of come in for the finish. Yep. He's so good at moving his opponents at will, Axelson. Wait, wait. Mm. We knew he'd get okay. more of an opportunity to play his natural game on this end. Also. Yeah. Nine. Wang Su is going to ha have to be very careful at that net. He's going to have to mix up the length of his net. If he's going to push it in longer, if he's going to take that spin, hope that Victor has to lift like that. Otherwise, he risks a him, him being two. the one that has to lift, and that's not a position that he wants to be in. So, 10 2 now to Axelson, eight point lead. This is, of course, the one Super 1000 event that has eluded Axelson's trophy cabinet. Zero, zero, four, three, he's ten. won the Indonesia Open, he's won the All Eng he's won All England, and of course this year he won Malaysia Open as well, which is a new addition to the Super 1000 level. So this is the one tournament that is missing from his already very, very decorated trophy cabinet. Oh, it's hit the frame, it's come off the frame. Zero, zero, so well salvaged as well. 11, three, the big eight, yell from Axelson as he takes the 11 3 lead at the break. You know how much it means to him to be back in control, back in charge of this match. Knowing he had it and then he lost that opportunity in the first game, he's, he's got a point to prove. So 11 3 at the break, at the break in favor of Victor Axelson. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Back on court very, very quickly. Ready to resume the second game. 11-3 has four titles Play. already this year. We're talking about the Malaysia Open, of course, the Indonesia Open. Recently won Japan Open as well in the European Games. Nice net shot. Well, three goes for the drop. It's slower net. Yeah, he's making Wang Su Wei work very hard for every point. Yeah, forced to kind of go back, three. go behind. Anytime he tries to escape over the top, it's either getting whipped on the floor or it's drifting out the back. And it's hard enough going over the top over someone like Victor Axelson, who's <laughs> so tall. Yeah. yeah, we're pushing two meters with Victor and then you extend a racket and an arm over his head. We're looking at three. <laughs> 14, Exactly. Three. And we just saw that he was forced to make some really high. And of course, if the higher you go, the more time your opponent has. Yeah. 15, Making short work three. of his opponent, Axelson at the moment. Yes. I think this might be a case of uh, energy preservation in this set. The set might be a bit far gone for Wang Zui to come back. So I think he'll, he'll try some things. He'll stay in it because he'll know he has to be back on this side for the end of the third set. But he may be playing for that third set. It's called out. No challenge Same this time. <laughs> 4-15. Fifteen four. Still an eleven point lead. Oh, that's a very high serve. Ooh, oh, well 
well retrieved. Two's over. Six Intelligent play from four. Victor Axelson. Choosing what? to go for that lovely net shot. He held it really late as well before he played it over the net. Kept Wang away guessing. 17 4. It's back to business for Axelson. Four points away from leveling scores. Ooh. Serves over. Five, seven, Missed that drift that time. 17 5. That's nice. Nicely placed. Serves he does over. make it look effortless. Five. Axelson, just a casual yeah. flick of the wrist. Yeah, anyone can do that, totally. <laughs> Gets it cross net. Three points away from taking the second game. Nineteen five. He can keep trying that back line, but I just don't think he's gonna. I don't think anyone's gonna judge it well. Oi, well missed. Twenty uh, on this end. Game point five. And so it sets up numerous game points now for the top seed. Was the flick serve? No. Nice little cheeky Turns hold from Victor, but six, sent back with 20. interest from Wang Yeah. Again, taking it really late, waiting for it to almost drop to the floor. Wang Tsui. So Victor Axelson does succeed Second in leveling the scoreline. He does it in double quick time, 21-6 in the second. A game of peace. We're going to a decider. Change of ends as well. But it is right now going Victor Axelson's way. So into a third Final we go, game. and it's Play. Axelson who came back from a game down to make it a game of peace. He won the first game very, very One quickly, uh, won the second game very, very quickly, 21-6. And I think in this third, given how that first game went, he's probably learned all the lessons he needs to, to make sure it stays his way. Already in that first rally, Serves he's over. making his presence One felt all. with a, a roar at the net. 
He definitely gets louder when he's in trouble to get himself out of. Yeah, hype himself up a bit. Yeah. The funk that he's in. Yeah. Mm. I do think that back, the rear Serve forehand for corner is a good two, spot one, for Wang Tui to try and pressure into. It yeah. seems to be quite difficult to judge back there. You can see a bit more fire about Victor. He's just he's trying to lift himself up from a sticky situation in the first. Mm. Yeah. You get you get you get the feeling that Victor is probably Same hardest over. on himself. Two yeah. oh. Looking for seeking perfection every time he steps out on court. A lot of players are like that. Are you yeah. like that? Oh well, yeah, he's constant uh, reflection and. Um, constant improvements, trying to see those tiny little gains that you can make, tiny little mistakes that you've made, how do you regroup? That's good net. Aye. Lovely reactions from Victor Axelson who makes his presence known. But I also do think that's how Wang Sui has to play, he has to get energy back up. And he has Mind to be you. very good in Mind that you. kind of mid-court okay. forwards or that box forward. Oh wait, no, it's okay. It's because okay. almost as soon as Victor lifts, it's it it will 80% of the time be going out. Unless he's being very careful. There's no doubt he's been put under the cost here, Victor Axelson. Like I say, when he's in balance, I think he will still dare to use the back of the court or give it really good height. Just drifted side, out the sides. And he's not happy with that because that was a pretty well constructed rally Three, until four. that just little misjudgment at the side. But I think because you have to sort of think so hard about playing your shots, say at the backboard, then that, that sort of thinking sort of evolves into every time you aim for the lines anytime, right? Yeah. Because you're then thinking, overthinking almost in your points. Welcome to my world. <laughs> oh, you're telling me. That's out. Yeah. Serves over. Four, three. And sort of given that you have so little time to think on court anyways, you start second guessing your shots in every direction. It's such a mixture between just playing your natural badminton. Oh, that's a good. It's not necessarily the pace on that shot. It was the depth Serves of it. Over. It was so, such a long smash. Oh. Absolutely sublime. It finds the corner. <laughs> Victor watched that one as a like a hawk. He was not happy. It was certainly seeing not. his reaction, but. Wangs away, just making sure he stays oh. calm and stays in the game. It worked Five, really well for him in four. the first game. He did not get on, you know, he did not get rattled. He did not get phased by the unhappiness on the other end of the court, the conversations about service and all of that. Just stuck to the game plan. Absolutely, and I think obviously you want to have a big lead, and that's obviously where you want to be as a player, but. At this stage in the game, to just be within one or two points is perfectly fine. Anyone is shakeable. Ah, jumped on that. Yeah. Oh, the body shot did the damage. Serves over. From Axel. Five. Oh. Always hard to defend when it's coming straight at your chest or your abdomen. Absolutely. Your body gets in the way. <laughs> Change it. Especially for. Uh, players with longer limbs. It's uh, a pretty good tactic to go in and around the body. They might have extendo arms out the way, <laughs> but it's harder to fold them back in on themselves. And then try and make the racket work for you. Yeah. That's why you don't see that many lanky doubles players. I'm always amazed yeah. with to, you know, the taller players and their center of gravity Serve and their agility. Absolutely. It's that much harder. Five. I'd say Victor is probably 
the biggest man on tour, singles or doubles, I would say? Biggest, yes, not the tall. I think uh, Fang, Fang and Huang, Fang Yanzhe is oh, okay, yeah, taller. Sure. Sure. Slightly taller. And but maybe but even of, of, of Russia, uh, if, if he was on the circuit. Mm. Yeah. Serve, serve, uh, six, or oh. But Victor Axelson, definitely, the entire profile is definitely yeah. the biggest. I think tour. so. Mads Kolding, who retired a few years ago, would be up there. Yeah. <laughs> ah, excuse the pun. Uh, for tallest flair. <laughs> Oi, uh, luck with the net card, but I feel like it was going on the floor regardless. Punish that, six. Axelson. You can't give him any room to yes. manoeuvre his shots. Seeing that, the score is still close. Neither player and running away with it. And it has to be close, because he has to be able to trouble Axelson on this end. Yeah. And try to even get a lead here and just hold on to that lead for dear life when they change ends. Definitely. Oh, indecision. And it's in. That's a big, Eight, big point six, for Axelson. Six, yeah, well defended through that. A two point lead in the third game. This is the biggest we've seen so far. The gap. Oh, well intercepted. That's a nice net. Yeah. Anytime, Wang Sui chooses to hit up to Victor it's uh, Nine, not gone his six. way I don't think yeah, so he's now got a better understanding on the length of those smashes yeah he's also playing them slightly inwards not taking any chances with those sidelines correct no need to mess with them and now he's three points up he's on a four point Thank run you. and you feel like he's starting to turn the screw Jackson Looking for an eighth quarter final in 2023. He has been one of the most consistent oh. performers on tour, has 36 match wins under his belt, which is, I think, fifth on the list of most match wins. Han Seong leading that by quite a few. It's a nice Six shot. Over seven. Yeah, good Nine. weight on that shot from yeah. Wang Sui. Correct trajectory. That's right. Yeah, just that little sneak under and punch up. Yeah, I think Victor was right to try to take that. Two-point gap. wide shake of the head he's Eight, not happy with that Axelson. he is being pushed there's no doubt about it yeah i think wang Sui, like we say with the taller players i think wang Sui is going into that inside hip of victor actually maybe just a foot to the right of that inside hip so that he has to take a forehand and almost he knows the shuttle will be going cross court so it's very difficult to turn it straight from there Oh, goes behind Victor. Oh, Ooh, he missed, missed it. it. He missed he it. He. Oh, he had him, didn't he? Seven, yep. seven, had him on the run. Ten, Relief eight. for Victor. Absolutely. And uh, because big difference between 9 all and 10 8. Absolutely. A cheeky, a cheeky smile, but a frustrated one for Wang Tsui. He's certainly put on a show here, Wang Tsui. As we said, when this match started, it was all favoring Victor and hasn't bounced away, surprised us all. Oh, 11, 8, 
So he's found the lines Change pretty ends. well, you'd say, and has, more importantly, the lead at the mid-game break because they're about to change ends and we saw what Victor Axelson did to Wang Suwei on the other end in the second game. So it is Victor Axelson who is in control, 11-8 up in the third. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Seven, eight. Play. Yep. It's gone wide. Well, eight. I'm talking about Wang Sui's best finishes at a Super 1000, and it's been reaching the quarterfinals. He did that at All England in 2020 the Indonesia Open before that in 2017 so he's looking to replicate 30. that kind of finish yeah, all right. Sorry. Wang Suwei does challenge Wang Suwei challenges called out might be that he needs a break he just had one <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, just odd, odd challenge yeah, um, it, it looks a fair way yeah, yeah exactly challenge unsuccessful he just needed a wipe down one challenge remaining potentially 13 8 and we're at a stage in the game where you know if you have Late. two challenges you could use that yep five point lead now for Axelson Again, I think we're going to come back to the net exchanges. Victor has the luxury of being able to use the back of this court. Wang Sui, not so much. He's going to have to be pretty careful. Yeah, that's so well played. Stepped in and just punched up 14, that line. Eight. Which isn't really possible nope. on the side of Wang Sui. a little bit of fatigue coming eight. into Wang Tui's movements here. He's really been put through it. And you can just see a little bit of looseness and not as sharp a recovery after each shot. He had 56 minutes of play here. He had a 58 minute first rounder yeah. against Nishimoto. All adds up. So Doesn't get yep. any easier as Axelson just now turns it up, put his foot on the pedal here, in a rush to get this done with. Yes. Wang Suwei will really need to find something special, find another gear even, run on some adrenaline if he needs to. Yeah, he's going to have to go all in here. If he has a hope. Done well to keep up with Victor here, Wang Suwei. Taking the sting out of wow. Victor's yeah. attack, but makes the mistake at the end. 17. I think he's eight. feeling it. That's a sign, isn't it? When they yes. start 
crouching or bending over more and more, that you're feeling it, you're feeling it in your legs. You try your hardest to not show your yeah. opponent any fatigue, <laughs> but sometimes. I know, so when you're almost sort of <laughs> you rolling can't over. Help it. <laughs> you can't help it. But uh, you can see just the, the solidness of Victor's <laughs> movements and his recoveries. He is the bigger man, so it is kind of easier to cover that space with one or two small steps. Yeah. But also, he's doing a good job of moving Wang Tsui as much as possible. Okay. Dharma out phys physically. And that also sort of takes a mental toll. Yeah. You're too tired to think sometimes. A Ooh, little slip. slip there. I don't think he's hurt, but. Service over. Yeah, the texture Nine, of these courts is um, a little different from what we've experienced before they are brand new uh, and any little tiny bit of sweat becomes like an oil slick wow <laughs> yeah you. for whatever reason whatever the texture is of the yeah because i've course. seen i've seen um oftentimes especially later on in the day the cleaners actually come with proper towels to like yeah really they're going it down because the mops are, are quite good for uh getting rid of the, sh the shuttle the feather oh. debris and stuff but to get that sweat off you need a Need to really get some elbow grease in there. Uh, it makes sense that the towels are being used. Heavy towels are being used. And so, uh, so the mistakes are coming oh. hard and fast off Wang Shui's racket, and it's 18, Victor Axelson who's nine. now just three away from clinching the win. You could see him pressing up on that net even before Wang Shui had struck the shuttle. Precision. Well, the court will need to be mopped, 19, and Wang Sui will get a little nine. break here. But I think it's too little, too late. Yeah. And fair play, this third set has been a masterclass from Victor in control and in tactical awareness. Yeah, he's fully taken in the lessons from that first game, hasn't he? Yeah. And he doesn't make the same mistakes twice yeah. very often. And Victor Axelson now with a 10 point lead. But I think the most important thing is he's just two away from a win. Yes. That was a good shot. Yeah, Straight the at the chest mm. of Axelson. We're talking about the matrix like maneuver. Yeah. That was almost. That would make a very good slow mo. Yeah. <laughs> and so into the double digits. Points away. That's a very high left. Away, and I think he's also given him another hey. chance to get a break. Finds himself on the floor, let go of his racket. <laughs> Not sure how he's going to make that return, Kirsty. Nope. <laughs> he's going to throw his racket at it. Yeah. I hope it hit it. You never know. Thank you. 11-19. Retrieve his racket here, Wang away. Still keeping himself alive in this game. His spirit has been no. undeniable. Ooh, Oi. it's a rare mistake. Real. 19. I think Victor's just got to be careful here. He, and he knows that the end is near. He can sense it. He yeah. wants to close it out. He w he'll want to exact maximum pressure, minimal mistakes. But it's, yeah, it's a fine balance. You don't want to let Wang Tui in at all.
long. Almost sounded like Victor Axelson had minions There's for a second there. Nice the crowd are picking up what he is putting down. <laughs> <laughs> Echoing his calls, his noises. <laughs> it's fantastic. Fantastic support. Wow, how about this now? He was 10 points 14, up. 19. That's five in a row for Wang Suwei. I wouldn't put it past him to get a few more. Hey. I've been at 19, 11, 11, 19, and I've won from 11, 19. So it is possible. I don't know if it's possible against Victor Axelson, but we'll see. Time will tell. Have playing the safer shots, but just coming the pace of the rally down once away. Oi. Good defending. Held it late. Yeah, he will not want to clear that out. That was going out. Ooh. Ooh, still at it on the floor. Oh, what a rally! Yeah, he wanted and he needed that one. Both players desperate. To come on the winning end at that point. That shot, I think, was out from Wang Tsumi. I think it was a teaser from Victor. Mm. Well, it took to Wang Tsumi to lay on the floor to end that point. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair to him, Victor Axelson was having none of it. Six match points as a result. Uh, this has certainly been a fantastic showcase for Langage, Langage. badminton, for Wang Tzu Wei's kind of badminton. And undoubtedly for Victor Axelson, who shows once more his indomitable spirit. 2014, six points, six match point opportunities. Nope. Can he convert on the first? Twenty game point fourteen. I think we'll see a as much of a change of pace as Victor can muster for this final push. No, I think he's going to play the long game. He knows when he's is feeling it. You play the sensible. The sensible point yep. from Victor Axelson, who keeps his calm, plays the composed rally, and comes out on top. Bleeds that loose shot from Wang Tuwei, who I don't think had the, the stamina to continue with a few more long ones. So, oh, what fantastic effort from both these men as Victor Axelson comes back from a game down to win 2022, 21 Match 6. Won by Victor Axelson. 21 14. 20 22, 21 6. What a match. We saw all there. 14. And Victor Axelson just showing his composure. And why he's world number one. And why he's world number one. Unfazed by anything that came his way. Plays out the match. A little phased in the first. To give him a little I think face. that game point that he lost that probably rattled him a little bit. Yeah, but he bounced back in supreme fashion. Absolutely. So Victor Axelson through to his eighth quarterfinal of 2023. Confirmation off the score there. Thank you very much, Kirsty Gilmore. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And we'll have Kirsty Gilmore once more. I'm sure tomorrow she'll be back with us for a while. In the meantime. That brings us to the end of the action here on Court 2. Join us again tomorrow. We have two sessions, so keep track of that. The morning session gets underway at 9 o'clock local time. And then in the evening at 5 o'clock, four matches each. So join us then. But for now, from me, Mo Shumidat, it's goodbye. See you tomorrow. <laughs>